Oh, Arha! No, we don't have to. <laughs> Mic check on Arhan. Mic check. Mic check. Uh, That's good. A little bit closer. Little. We want Arhan to be louder than everyone else. Playing with Arhan so far has been really nice. It's been nice to have like a new set of eyes to to look at how we play and like bring in new ideas. What one thing that Arhan does really well, despite the language barrier, is he's very decisive and he always like asks for help when he wants to support when he needs support on a play. So he'll he knows his limits. He's a really smart player, and so when we know he makes when he makes a call. Even though it might be very simple, it's like push, push, push or something. We know it's the right thing to do, and we always follow up with them. So, even at like the basic level right now in our communication, like we can see that there's like there's going to be synergy there, and his mechanical play is top notch. From my perspective, it's nice because I get to like focus in on um, the maps that I play rather than playing every map. Um, I suppose my perspective is different because I don't play with Arhan. I just we just swap out on the same role. But it's nice for me because I've you know I always. Like prefer to play my best heroes, and it was always like weird to push myself out of my comfort zone on so many different characters. So just being able to play like the characters I'm best at is is nice. I don't don't have to um, like takes a lot of the burden off me. I'm on Ursa, Ursa. I got tech back. Okay. I'm almost back. Single point, you single point. Hello. Come back, come back, come back. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, run. Check out, check out, check out. Nice. Nice. Big low. Healing spree. Healing spree. I didn't go two. No, you went one and one. I didn't play. We didn't play three games. I only played two. The second, the second, the second one, easy the second one, one, he baits me into Q, right? Who's he smarter? Wait, wait, wait. He dodged a he, he dodged a two so stack. Smart. He Who's dodged smart? a two stack, knowing that Carpe and Jaehong were still playing. And I blocked the other two stacks. So yeah. So got I got the two stack. I had never played with them. So like, <laughs> that's not even fair. He literally had Carpe, <laughs> Jaehong, and Zunba. No, Carpe, Jaehong, and Zunba. You're professional. Yeah, but I could, I, it, it if, the matter. if I was on the Carpe team, it would have been 2 0. Carpe, Jaehong, Zunba, and us. Raucus. That is literally you didn't beat four. Us. You didn't beat us. I'm saying we lost. No, you were saying he said. I'm saying like there was, that was unwinnable. That wasn't, even like a, that wasn't even like a game. I think whenever you bring in a new player, uh, you get the benefit of a fresh set of eyes, which helps you look at the same thing from a different perspective. Like maybe, maybe the idea isn't super complex, but just because the way he thinks about the game might be different from the way the rest of us have, have grown to think about the game, right? And so therefore, we can um, approach things in a different way that we couldn't before. And Arhan just is naturally a tactical player and like very, very sound strategically. So he, on, on top of the principle of a new player coming in and bringing in fresh ideas, Arhan is bringing in complex, has the potential to bring in complex ideas. So having Arhan is on the team, he's like our first um, Korean player uh, and he doesn't really speak that much English. So dealing with the language barrier while we play, uh, it's like an adjustment from both sides. You know, Arhan is like learning English and at the same time, players on the team are learning how best to communicate with him. So like figuring out, you know, if you have a specific call for Arhan, you can make it in like such a way that he understands and kind of understanding what his grasp of English is and, and how to work with it. Um, it's just it's just like a process of like getting to know each other kind of and figuring out how to best communicate um, in both directions, I would say. Like right now, it's definitely um, tough because the language barrier is so significant. Um, but I do feel like progress is being made and it seems like the team's playing super well with Arhan, so it doesn't seem to be like a massive problem right now. It's like breaking into the, like the really high level of coordination and communication is definitely hard. But at the same time, Arhan's such a smart player that he's really good at naturally kind of figuring out how to best play around the team when, when they make a plan. So I feel like it's working really well. Now, during this last map, your GM Flame tweeted something out, so I have to follow up on that. He actually said that you guys are not communicating in Korean to make sure that Arhan understands you better. Want to talk a little bit about that? I mean, that's the general idea. I think saying that we're communicating in Korean is kind of like a major stretch. <laughs> like, um, we're trying to integrate Arhan into our, our communication, and since we're all English speakers and he doesn't speak English too well, we're taking some keywords in Korean and bringing that into like our vocabulary. That's about it. And today was like our first real like test at it, and it was like it was all right. I think it'll just get better from here.
That only happened like one or two times. How do don't we worry say, too much uh, about it. What's the word that Tyrong went? Oh, Tyrong, what's the word again? For Discord? Bobuang? No. Bujua. 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 What does that mean? Genji Bujua means Discord to Genji. Bujua. Genji Bujua. Okay. 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 So so Bujua is just Discord, right? And the team let let the Arhan those of us they are widows part always. So you guys needed to keep the where is where widow is. Uh, what steps are you currently taking to integrate Arhan, and how well do you feel he's already integrated? Well, I think Arhan's doing really well. Like it's it's his first time on stage, right? And he's under a lot of pressure to perform. He's, he has to fill big shoe, big shoes. He has to like listen to our comms and not he doesn't understand what we're saying exactly so he has to digest it's like a lot more complicated for him and he's doing really well and, I, and like what flame said is really like just the first part of our like long-term goal to get him to be like a to like integrate him fully into the team and so uh keywords a lot of review together um talking about maps and stuff and then we have um some translators like tyron can translate too so yeah i mean our goal is to like um like get him as like a starting member of the team our, our, our biggest obstacle right now is, um, I guess, conveying complex calls, right? Like, if I wanted to say, Arhan, go over here and do this to somebody else in five seconds, it's pretty hard to communicate that. But Arhan generally makes the right decision anyway, so if I tell him to do something, like, he's probably going to do it naturally. <laughs> well, we, we kind of have um, been experimenting with some key, key calls in Korean to, to help him feel more comfortable, like, to show that we, like, we want him part of the team, and, like, we want him here and want to work with him. So for our last match, like, we, we um, started using the Korean word for Discord, so that like when we say that, we know like we want Arhan to attack that target, and he can like go right on it. Trust me, you you won't die. You won't like lose any like major HP in the game. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, you're working. What do you want us? They're walking in main. Uh, Arhan, old old point, just fight. The stack card, stack card. We can't lose. Stack card, make him touch. Clock, what are you drawing? What's it gonna be? Yeah. Um, draw me a narwhal. I feel like it's at Tyrong's apartment. I feel like it is too. Do we have time? What time is it? Yeah, we have time. We have like an hour and fifteen well, or something. Well, we can just run back and get it, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's our new player. <laughs> oh, Arha! No, we don't have to. <laughs> Oh, Arha! We found Arha! Wow, not from my own. Nice to meet you! We just bring this box because it's lit. it has the jersey so it doesn't matter. That's the point. Thank you. I'm lost. I'm. I'm. Found the solution. That would actually be a really good solution. Just take the box off on stage. Let's get on. Playing Shanghai is always like to like you know you, you feel like there's a lot of pressure honestly, even though we know that they're a relatively weaker team than like a lot of teams we play. Um, like I would say they're like a weaker team than than Mayhem, let's say, just from record and and, and performance. But uh, at the same time, you're still like you don't want to be the first team to lose to Shanghai, honestly. No one wants to be the team that you know gives them their first win or like has the first loss to Shanghai. So every team is probably taking it really seriously, honestly. So in a way, it's like we knew that we had a big advantage going into the match. We knew that we're a much stronger team, but at the same time, you just you want to play really smart. You want to not allow their individual um, mechanics to overwhelm your team play. The Shanghai match was a little nerve-wracking. I'm not gonna lie. Like the the week prior to that, we had a pretty pretty rough performance, to say the least. And so going into Shanghai, Shanghai has improved, and Shanghai's a good team. Like they really are. They have really good players. If you like, Dia had one of the best games I've ever seen in my entire life. He really did. He, he did. he did absurdly well. And so Shanghai deserves a win, but let's be honest, we don't want to be the first team to lose to Shanghai. And, and we've always taken them very seriously. We've never like sandbagged or like held back or like tried to try to bring in like a weaker roster to get him playtime or anything like that. And so we approach it the exact same way. But there was this like this looming thought that, you know, we're on the downtrend. <laughs> uh, last week I'm really poorly and 
this is the week that really matters, right? If we want, we want to get in playoffs, these are the wins that we have to get. Muma trying to hold his own here. He's got the shatter. Can he get the ball? Can he find the angle? Yes, potentially. Just goes charging in. There we go. Finds the kill. On to Gregory and Damon out of it. And so Muma doing some of the work here as Lynx are finally on the board with the kill. They also take out the tire during that too, which is really important. That's the big downside of running the jump rat. On the other side, Shanghai gets an enormous tire from Damon. On to the point. Let's see. Doesn't catch anybody. No, Muma's able to dodge it. And it's going to be all drink. Gregory just throwing themselves in. Self-destruct there as well. Thrown into the mix. Scream even finding a kill with it. And there it is. It's an Arhan sighting. Subbing in for Jake. They're going to keep dying one after another here, Shanghai. It's only a matter of time here for Houston Outlaws. Very unlikely that they've messed this up. Against the Widow, Arhan's got a tire in as well. Looking to end this. It could be a matter of time here before Shanghai are able to find success on the first point. Dia just no healing around for him right now. Finally gets healed up. Should be able to beam these down in Shanghai. Looks like they're gonna take first. Womack gets d mac here and they're spread out. But Arhan has got the blade and without the trance, he could be the hero here for his team. Dia dead as well. Two kills for Arhan. Looking for a third, but he's not gonna find it. And it's looking like Shanghai Dragons will be able to hold in the end. No, you should have done lit. What? You, well, you should have been on the ledge. What's that mean? Probably. You were on like the ledge with clockwork, and I was like, I don't understand what's happening. But the problem is, there's no good spawn no on Hanamura, spot. so you just need to like man up and just like yeah. take, okay. it, take what's coming and just f exactly. start conking the tanks sure as fast as you can. Oh, hey, it's like a tank! Hey, the tank! Flame can't even count that high! Why is my team so top? You got it? Yeah. What's he doing? Hey, buddy. What's going on? Turn the volume up. Tyler, we said something. What are we doing? It's worth it! <laughs> <laughs> Grab goes down. Where is the follow up though? And as the shield goes down, Lynx are with that dead eye finds too. Gregory and Fearless dead. And now it is a chance here for Houston Outlaws to just flip it right on back and they will succeed. Shanghai Dragons now the ones with their backs to the wall. Fearless clomping his way back into it, but he's not going to make it in time. Dia and Altering will take down two themselves. Dia again takes down Arhan. He gets a little too low. Low hovering target goes right back to spawn, and it is Dia yet again. Pulse bomb lead on spree. Clean up on the Bonnie. 99% now for Shanghai Dragons. This is it, their biggest chance yet. And yes, Dia with the stick. Dia grouped up, and there it is the follow up. Dia takes down Bonnie and spree. Gregory there to get in on the fight as well. Mooma not going to be long for this world. Yep, Dia collects that kill. Series on the line here for the Dragons. It's a chance, but the knockback there from Aron. They're all dying. No, the Shanghai Dragons. So close yet so far. And Free Feel, I mean Fearless, he's gonna die for Free Feel as well, and that's gonna be it. Houston Outlaws will win the game. Let's go! 94 ult, you're dead though. You can't get ult when you're dead. Ooh! This guy ult. Nice. Oh, sorry. Ultra Instinct. I've got some more right now. It's not us. Yeah, he's like, come on. Come back to I'm so happy. Like, starting to bring into a, a language barrier into the team. Uh, is definitely a hurdle, but I think once we overcome it, we'll definitely be in a better spot than we were previously. Arhan, everything okay? Thumbs up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, a th that's a thumbs up. So versus Mayhem this week, I got to play a few more maps, which was cool. Um, I played three based on that map pool. The match was like, I don't know, I felt really confident going into that match. Like, for whatever reason, I just, like, I knew that we were, like, the stronger team, and I felt like we had kind of, like, figured out a lot of problems just before the match and like we're starting to play a lot better in scrims. I felt more confident against Florida. I feel like Florida is kind of more on the downtrend and they're a little bit more, they play a little more predictable than Shanghai. Shanghai has a lot of potential for like this explosive randomness like we saw from Dia, whereas we weren't expecting that as much from, from Florida. Um, we we kind of just like stuck to the fundamentals there, kind of tried to play ult, ult economy really well, focus fire and integrated a lot of swaps I think took him off guard. For the really main issue was Horizon and for us like that's not not anything new, you know, it's like, <laughs> gotta go into it, expecting that to be our worst map, and it kind of was. You guys know that it has been like a great week of practice, and like, this is very important to get us this win out so we can focus on next week. Yep. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Near full barrage, he survives it too, and he eliminates Jake, so the crowd control is gone. Logic's really coming up with the goods right now. Bonnie dead, Muma to follow, and Florida Mayhem in overtime will pick up the second point. Oh, God, Jake, oh, the tire, oh, somehow survives, eight HP. Looking for the angle, this is Moon, certainly enough, exactly, finds the kill on server side, that couldn't have gone better. Houston Outlaws, they pretty much got it in the victory box, the first map will be theirs. We almost have EMP, Zubay has to live to get EMP, that's the best way to win, boy, huge EMP, hits a lot of people. Doing everything they can to hang into this fight, Raucous, you've got trends, you can't just go for it, but Bonnie's got the wings out as well, and that's gonna be 
Yeah, and Florida Mayhem right now are looking very good. Although, as I say that, Link Strength will match two huge kills. No, Florida, you can't. You can't give it up in the end like this. Only supports left on the point. Logics will clean it up. And despite a very good defense, thank you, Mr. Logics, as he closes out that match. The, the whole way and flank you in that way. So just like be aware of that. I've stressed this. It's like, it's like you should call it clock. That's like a clock. And this goes timer. for any map. Whenever we're setting up, make everything happen at the same time. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Jerry, smile. Jerry, you're telling me you don't like playing Tracer in a boosted widow in Junkrat. You're telling me it's not fun. The, the widow slot is definitely good. Uh, yeah. The lower one. Yeah. 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 Everybody. Everybody. Let's back to home quickly. Yeah! <laughs> Let's, go home Let's go home quickly. By Jade. Again, oh, perfect target. Perfect! Zupe, no way to survive even with the D-Matrix. Perhaps the D-Matrix, there was none left, but there's the... I mean, Zupe gonna throw that trance in there, but it's not enough to keep Zebesai alive. And it's looking like Houston Outlaws will be the ones to pick up this first point. Well, oh, this is... They're gonna close that gap. Jake with the monster barrage. Two of them, and sitting in the trance means that he survives. Hunting for that kill on Zebesai will be Link's sort of collected, and there's the clean one. Well, this is just a big cleanup here. Houston is mopping up. This yep. is over. This is done. And I do believe we have one substitution. There's our boy, Arhan, going to be coming in. I'm rotating now. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. I'm an IT with you. Brigade, Tanjo. They yeah, can't, they can't ever jump on our rockets. I will so just make first. rockets live forever. Diva, Bourgeois. Hello. They're, they have no card time right now. Hanzo, Bourgeois. It's they really can't. hard for them to push out. Watch the bridge. Their brick has to touch the bridge. No, we need to use this corner. I'm ready. I can vote dead. Ready? Go, 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 go. I'm jumping in. I'm in. I'm on the way. I'm in. 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 The dragon right on through, but that's still too big. Finding a kill. Zupe as well, coming up with two. And Bonnie just rezzing out in the middle of nowhere. It was the Hail Mary res, and it gets denied. Houston Outlaws falling apart here. Coming through. Nice. Deletion of the res. Not going to happen. And they managed to sneak it through. Hiding, hiding. We still die, we still die. We win this? I'm separate, separate, separate. 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 I'm staying on car still. Chin die, chin. Chin one, chin one. Chin break, 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 break. Leave a bomb, leave a bomb. He's dead. I have car, I have car, guys, I have car. Widow's on the right door. Die, die, die. Widow's out. Yeah, nice. Mission, 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 mission. Nuking, nuking. And he's trying to be the hero here, but they will push forward. Houston Outlaws coming up with the goods in OT. All right. A perfect offense. Lord allow, man. All right, even going for the doom. Let's go. Straight fist to Vic right around the corner. Oh, he barely dodges it. Push you, push you on the side. Kill the people on cart. Keep people on cart. Warm Jerry, I got him. Jerry, healing Jerry. Break, 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 break. Discord. We can die. Wait, can die. I'm on mercy now. I'm on mercy now. Mercy dead. Is that Discord? Is that Discord for you, Bubba? Watch out for walls. Right, 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 right. Chanting, chanting, chanting. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Good job, guys. Matt. Yeah, I mean, Arhan switching to the to Doomfist, switching to Pharah. It's like it's kind of a a factor that we haven't really considered previously it's a it's a curveball and like those swaps swapping right now is more important than it's ever been and so having someone who has that versatility and like has the like the the game knowledge to know when to do it and how to do it right like it, it adds a whole new like unpredictable dynamic to our team and that's like solely because of Arhan. I mean I feel like my mindset has always been that we're like we always like over pressured ourselves to try and win certain games and like I feel like that was a consistent theme for us that people were like we have to win this game and now that we actually have to win this game, it's like people are finally recognizing that like you can't think about that. You can't say like we have to win four matches in a row. You know, it's just like well, just play the next game. You know, play the next game, and we'll do the best we can. Try. It's like you just if you just pressure yourself so much thinking about how far you have to go, you're gonna fall on your next step. So you have to just focus on each step. You know, one match at a time, and just take it as they come. Ironically, now that we're under the most pressure, it's most important that we stay relaxed. So it's definitely. Um, it's a good experience for us though, I think. I mean, I think the key is really just um, playing normal and like maintaining our schedules and not like overhyping ourselves. These are matches that we can win and like our play the playoffs really still are in our own hands. This week we're not going to like put extra pressure on ourselves to like we have to win this match or we're going to die. Like it's very important that we win, but I think that it's really it's really more important that we stay like level-headed and approach it with like a calm mind and be really because we're prone to get overhyped, like it happens on stage. It happened on stage a lot in the past, and we've kind of toned it down since then. Uh, right now, just focus on the fundamentals. These next two matches this week, like, could easily be ours, and that will help us forge that path 
into the playoffs. But as long as we play our own game, like that's really all we have to focus on.